Hello YouTube, this will be the much requested tutorial video for my LEGO RC Sports car. Now this car is probably one of my best cars, so if you haven't seen the original video, I'd highly recommend checking it out just to see the performance and all that, and all the features are like more in depth. But for now, I'll just give you guys a quick overview. So here's a quick 360 view of it. The car's body and design overall is quite nice. It's kind of like a sporty kind of car like I was going for. It has the gold rims and accents like the engine and stuff like that, so it's kind of cool on the design. And now I'll show you guys the actual performance features, which was my main goal for this car. So let me adjust the camera. So overall, the car has a um, rechargeable battery box, um, a set of LED lights, which is kind of hidden inside, and then it's got a... RC buggy motor, which this is a kind of a disclaimer for the um, tutorial. You will need one of these. The best way to get is on Bricklink because Legos, you know, hasn't doesn't sell them anymore. But this um, motor co will cost you probably 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you, how much shipping is and stuff like that. But Bricklink's probably the best place to get this. You will need one for this car. Aside from that, we've got the um, IR receiver. So this is a version two for the best performance. You can use version one, version two, either one, but and then you've got to have a servo motor, which you can see up in there. So yeah, there's a servo motor in there for the return to center, and you kind of have to have one of these rechargeable battery boxes because the um, lights are dimmable and you can turn them off while the car's still running. That feature depends on having the rechargeable battery box. But now that I've gone over talking about them, I'll show you guys all the features. So when you turn it on, you can either have the lights off like this or actually dim them or brighten them however you like and then you can turn them off and the car is still running as you can see the battery box is still on it has the four-wheel drive and return to center steering so and four-wheel drive and the drive is all done with the buggy motor steering done with the servo motor and basically all works really good. It has differentials, so you can even stop the wheels or, you know, spin them. That's just for, like, mechanical advantage when it's going around corners and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to explain shortly, but those are the basic features of the car. So if you guys want to build this, just stay tuned, and I'll get started as soon as possible.
right guys, now that we've got the um, basic um, body built, we're going to work on wiring. This section's got to be video because it's kind of complex what I do here, so just try to um, pay attention to what I do, and if you have any questions, you can always ask in the comments. So, first you're going to take a um, kind of one of these pieces, and this is the peg with the studs, and you'll take the lights thing. So you'll take the lights, the center brick, and you're going to attach this to the black center brick, like so. And then you're going to take the a power functions extension cable and attach that to the top of this. Then you'll take the lights cable and attach that on top. And you'll take a your receiver cable. So you'll attach that to the top as well. So then you'll get this. And now this wire that's left out is the extension wire that will attach to your battery box. Like so. And now you've got this little compact module. Your lights will be going this way. And then you can take your side panel you just built and attach this whole module in there. And then I have this little optional little thing and this is kind of like a wire guard kind of thing to keep them away from the wheels so I recommend putting that right about there and then attaching your all of your wires your big side panel you attach that like so okay yeah you tuck this underneath the battery box and then attach so got that, had a little bit of trouble. So then you'll end up like this, and then you can put up this wire guard, which kind of keeps the wires in line. And now you'll have your lights out front. Now you also have your servo motor wire, and then your buggy motor wire, so make sure this goes to your buggy motor. Attach the buggy motor wire, so I'd recommend doing this. Actually, I'd recommend putting this one on first. So, servo motor wire. Take this up under and attach to your IR receiver. Take your buggy motor wire and put that onto your receiver as well. I try. I use the drive on the red and the blue is steering typically and then you can move your wires to the sides like so. So that's basically the general idea of wiring it. You can organize the wires however you want but make sure that you do this. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments in the end and yeah so if you do this wrong though your whole system will be messed up. So. Pay attention to this part, and now I'll continue on to the rest of the tutorial.
Hopefully you guys could follow and enjoy that tutorial, and that's pretty much it. If you have any problems, questions, or concerns, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. Your car should have ended up looking something like this, like my original, and I'd recommend testing out all the features just to make sure they're working, and that's pretty much it. So please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Bye.